is uh, when you hit her, if you call her real quick... God damn it. Yeah, she'll say th things like that. Okay, and then if you put her to sleep... Sometimes you will hear her mumbling and saying... Come on, game. Come on. Right. There it is, Venus in Cancer. Venus in Cancer is a mistranslation. It was meant to be the Venusian Crab, and what is that? That is a reference to a B-movie that is called It Conquered the World. I think that, that's the name of the movie. And it was supposed to symbolize that she is into B-movies, that she's a B-movie fan. And uh, because of, the, of, the, of that mistranslation, that little link is sort of, uh, was sort of lost. And one last thing. If you stand on her... And then wake her up. She has to be awake for this to happen. Let's uh, use this. Okay. Now call her on the codec. You perv. Aha! We got called a perv. All right. <laughs> We're done harassing her now. Let's continue. Let's call the elevator here and then proceed with the adventure. If you notice, the things that she says while she's asleep are the things that the bird also... There are no... Oh my god, really? The bugs are back? Are you serious? Goddamn bugs. I hate these things. Get away, bugs. Why are you still here? Go away. Yes, go away. I need I need to let Emma through. What do the bugs do come back after a while? I didn't know that. That's that's new. Okay. <laughs> we found something new. If you take way too long, the, the bugs will come back. Okay. Come on, guys. Get out of the way. Alright, this should be enough, hopefully. Uh, maybe a little bit more here. Let's take her. And then proceed upwards. Come on, Emma. This always reminds me of, of Ico. I never actually played that game. I, I should get on that. I should play Ico. I always heard everyone say it was so good. It's a, it's a game, a PS2 title, where you have to... I don't really know. It's save, saving a girl that doesn't talk, and she's all white and you have to clear rooms with monsters and then you have to drag her along like like such like we're doing with Emma right now one thing that I didn't show up that I didn't show during the adventure so far is that uh, is, is one, is just one cool detail and uh, whenever I get the chance I'm going to mess with this guard here and show that to you is let's hold him up Freeze. <gasps> okay and now when the guard is being, is holed up like this, or if you walk them at, behind them real slowly, you can... Oh, yeah, you're gonna try to... Freeze. Ah, no, you're not gonna do that. You can sometimes put a C4 on their backs and then explode it if you like, but we're not gonna, really gonna kill the guard because that's how we're trying to play the game without actually killing anyone. But you can do that if you like. Like, it's a good strategy if you want to kill a bunch of guards and they're, like, on patrol and then they all meet up somewhere or something. You can just put some C4 in the back of one of them and when they meet, you explode them all. And that's really, really sadistic, but you can do it. Alright. Now, there are a few guards over here and these guards are sort of annoying. And later on... Freeze. I think I'm going to bring the other guard over here because eventually another guard will pop from uh, the elevator. And uh, he will see this guard, and he will, of course, grow suspicious because guards aren't supposed to be sleeping. And uh, the longer we delay that, the better. So let's just leave this guard here and then put the other guards to sleep that are on our path and try to proceed without alerting anyone because that would be bad because now we, we have uh, Emma to protect. Okay, let's put another guard to sleep. I know there's another one. There are two of those over here. Can't really see them yet. Okay, well, let's just get Emma then, and then uh, we'll deal with the other one when we get there. Come on, man. Come on, Emma. Let's proceed. Okay. Now, this portion is a little less action-y and more babysitting-y, because you can't really run when she's uh, she's with you. She, she's been injected with some sort of... Uh, 
God damn it! With some sort of um, muscle, I don't know, mu muscle paralyzing something or another, and she can't really run. So there's not much you can do. You have to make do with what you have. This is as fast as you're going from uh, from now till a little bit later. There is another guard over here, which we're gonna try to get rid of. He's gonna look this way and then that way, freeze. and then we're gonna freeze him and proceed. Okay. Hopefully the other the guard that came out of the elevator did not find anyone yet. I don't think so because they would have grown suspicious. I think. I think we did this pretty well actually. Yeah, that was. I, I would call this a successful run through this part of the game. Okay, so as we make our way outside, I have to remind you that um, if you want to collect the dog tags from the soldiers in this area, you have to do it now because you will not get another chance. This is your one and only chance to collect dog tags in this area. Also, one thing that has been bugging me for a long time is how do the nano machines work? I mean, we've heard them mentioning them and using them in cutscenes to, you know, not be overheard, but we never see them mumbling during the codec conversations. So how exactly does that work? Like, do... Does it work with, uh, I don't know, psychokinesis? Not kinesis. Kinesis is uh, when you control objects. I mean, uh, psychic communication of some sort? It would make no sense, but I never really understood this. This has been a doubt of mine from uh, for, from the Metal Gear universe that I've always had. And thank God the guards put some ramps here and covered the holes or this would be impossible. This would be the end of the adventure right here. And I can spot a soldier over there on the map. We're going to have to take care of him. Let's put him to sleep as usual. Missed. All right. Now let's proceed. I have to go to the left here or to the bottom part of the screen and do some uh, some uh, fireman work. Put some, some of the fire out. And this fire came back. Cool fire, I suppose. It did. Hopefully it is. All right. Let's take Emma. Let's continue. We're gonna have a, another set of cutscenes now. Not another set of cutscenes, I think it's just one right after this. Damn it. What's wrong? This door is security level five. I don't have card five. Damn. Giving up already? Ta-da! What the? Are you impressed? You should have told me you had it. Well, the truth is, I just remembered it myself. All right, the sewage treatment plant area. Um, just leave, let's just leave uh, Emma here for a while because there are some guards around here. And I totally missed that one, but okay. Well, there are two actually, two guards, and we're gonna try to put them both to sleep before we actually proceed into the next room, if we can. See, there's one there. That one's asleep already. And then one should possibly go and try to wake up the other one, and that's when we'll strike. Uh, can we? Can we see it from here, even? Ugh, we can't. Okay, I'll go from here. Okay, we can see it from here. Uh, can go back to sleep, and the other one... How about... If we just wait here patiently until it moves. Freeze. And now, we're going to sleep. Alright, now we can proceed. Let's go get Emma and continue. I can only wonder how bad this smells, this area smells, this sewage treatment. But it's kind of funny, like, they, they actually did some research, and, um, they probably, I, I don't know, this is not based on any research or anything I did myself, but it seems like they did some research on, on actual, you know, uh, plant cleaning, not plant, I mean oil spill cleaning facilities or something, because this, this it looks pretty real to me, and, uh, it would make sense there would be a... A sewage treatment plant is here as well.
question for you. What is it? How do you feel about heights? I can't say I like heights. The water's higher on my phobia list. Why? Well, we have to go down the ladder. How far down? Just a little bit. Why do I feel like we've had this conversation before? How little is little? Mm, about 130 feet. Hmm. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? How are your legs? Better. The numbness is gone. I can climb down on my own. Okay, follow me. Sunset. It's beautiful. If we don't hurry, it'll be the last we see. Enemy soldiers, gun ciphers. I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past all that. Looks like it can barely support one person. How much do you weigh, Emma? Are you gonna ask me how old I am next? If you go alone, I think you can make it across. This is Ryden. Do you read me? Yeah. What's up? We've made it to the lower part of Strut L. We'll have to cross the water from here. Can Emma walk? Yeah, she's okay. The pontoon bridge doesn't look too sturdy. Emma's gonna have to cross it alone. Right. The oil fence. There are ciphers and several guards. Ryden, you're carrying a PSG-1, aren't you? Yeah. It's time to play sniper. Not bad. This spot gives me a good view of the targets. You're going to have to cover Emma until she crosses to Strut E. I'll get there and provide some support of my own. Thanks. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I know the drill. I faced a similar situation in advanced mode level 4 VR training with the PSG-1. VR? Uh, guess it's better than nothing. Make sure you don't hit Emma. Right now, with Arsenal's boarding in progress, security should be at a minimum. That doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Given the situation, they've probably got claymores in place to make up for the security shortage. Make sure you use your thermal goggles. Right. Okay, I'm heading for strut E. Emma, are you reading me? Loud and clear. I'm gonna clear a path for you from here. How? Sniper fire. You're kidding. Trust me. What if I fall into the sea? I, I can't swim. You were doing pretty good a few minutes ago. Okay. Think you can do it? Would you take no for an answer? No. no. All right, get going. You'll be fine. Okay, so, this part is a little bit harder than it has to be. I mean, we're gonna make it a little bit harder than it has to be, simply because I want to show you a couple of things. Um, having the thermal goggles is really important. I think you get them here as well, in case you miss them in uh, the first part of the plant, like at the very beginning. So don't worry, because with them, you can see the mines on these little platforms that she's walking on. I like to use the M4 to take out these mines, these first few mines here, because uh, the PSG-1 just shakes uncontrollably as if I had Parkinson's disease. And with the tranquilizer gun, I'm gonna take out all the guards and